okay. All right. So, as you can see, uh, typical Spyrotech, it's all brass, good solid construction. As you'd expect from Spyrotech, um, it has good dirt separation with a gauze that I'll show you shortly. It also has um, the air separation unit, which obviously they excel at. And more familiar from some of the filters, it's got the drain point on the bottom. Um, so we've got inch and a half connections on this. You'll see inside the gauze that's familiar on many of the Spyrotech filters. This is crucial for dirt separation, acts as a physical barrier to dirt flowing through this lawless header. On the top there, you will see the air separator. And like I said earlier, on the bottom, that's just the standard drain off point on the filters. Now the reason you need, in my opinion, the dirt separator and the air separator is because what we get coming into the lawless header is we get the flow coming into the header here and we get the flow taken out here the return coming back and the return coming out here and obviously it's hydraulic separation so you're going to get the the hydraulic system um, circulating background so we get the correct flow for the system and also for the boiler now as a result of that the flow inside this header is quite is quite slow as a result of that any suspended debris in there will drop onto the bottom there any uh, air in the system or oxygen in the system will be released due to Henry's law and it will release up through here. Now if it was a normal low loss header without this and without that, what we would find is a pocket of air building up in there and obviously the sludge filling up at the bottom. So we need a way of being able to take the sludge out of the bottom and also the air from the top. Now some manufacturers, some boiler manufacturers, um, use steel. Now obviously steel is not fantastic in a system. Steel as we all know corrodes in a system. With this being all brass, we uh, would expect um, a good lifetime um, performance from this from this Lolos header. Fantastic product and we're really looking forward to fitting it. Okay, so you'll see shortly part of the installation from this week. We'll make a video and you'll be able to see it in practice and we'll explain how it works.